a strong warning coming from the Director General of the World Health Organization on Wednesday as countries emerge from the lockdown restrictions due to the coronavirus. The risk of returning to lockdown remains very real if countries do not manage the transition extremely carefully and in a phased approach. During the WHO's news conference, the Director General, Tedros Adenol, plus President Donald Trump, has said his focus is opening up his country again. We have to get our country open, and we have to get it open soon. We call upon the world to focus on fighting the fire, because while fighting, while fire is raging, I think um, our focus should not be divided. Uh, any building owner or contractor to do so as soon as practical where it's safe to begin work once again. It is difficult to make international comparisons with certainty today. Uh, there will be a time for that and we have already established the way in which 
uh, we will measure that in due course, which is a measure of excess deaths. Uh, but that is a hard calculation to do with accuracy today. Uh, of course we want to learn uh, whatever lessons we can do whilst we're still responding to the virus, uh, but I think the time for accurate international comparisons will come in the future. Uh, it is more positive, of course, that when we saw those very disturbing scenes uh, earlier in the year in Italy of their very good health service being overwhelmed and were concerned about the potential. Today's data shows that 1,448,010 tests for coronavirus have now been carried out across Great Britain, including 69,463 tests carried out yesterday. 201,101 people have tested positive. That's an increase of 6,111 cases since yesterday. 13,615 people are currently in hospital with coronavirus in Great Britain, down from 13,922 yesterday. And sadly, of those hospitalised with the virus, 30,076 have now died. That's an increase of 649 fatalities. Señorías, comienza la votación. Sí, 22 más 156 votos emitidos telemáticamente. No, 10 más 65 votos emitidos telemáticamente. Abstenciones, 14 más 83 votos emitidos telemáticamente. Queda, en consecuencia, autorizada la prórroga del estado de alarma. La única forma que tenemos de poder garantizar una transición gradual uh, y lo más, eh, digamos, prudente posible es, lógicamente, el estado de alarma. Midi, on a une pause pour manger jusqu'à. 